Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation Academy. So here today I am going to automate Amazon dot in website. And what we have to do is we can open Amazon dot in using Selenium and we'll search here let's say iPhone 15 Pro Max and once we get the list we can just click on any list here any any iPhone then what we need to do we can click on add button and once we click on add button we can just click on proceed checkout so till here we will do the automation so let's get started here we have Java in already installed and I have already added Maven configuration selenium project so you just need to get the latest version of selenium which is 4.16 and once you are getting the 4.16 version in that version you don't need to set any system path for the chrome driver you just need to write web driver equal to new chrome driver and then driver dot get amazon dot in by doing this let's try to run it and we can see output So we can see Amazon.in is opening now. After that, we have to just write here iPhone 15 and then we'll proceed further. So let me close it. So we have browser open and then we can say driver.manage. Windows. Uh, maximize so I have just done here maximization once will it will open Amazon dot in it will open in maximized window just after that we have to go to the browser and then here we have to first look for so let me just click on the main first we have to look for the search right so for search we can just go right click click on inspect element and from here you can just click on this arrow button and as of now I have not added any plugin where it can help us to get the X path for this one so as of now if you will see right we have ID equal to this particular two tab search text box so I can either I can use this ID or I can get the X path also and to get the X path what you can do you can use here selectors hub so just write here selectors hub and it will open the first one so you can just click on it this selector hub will help you to fetch the correct X path and then click on add to Chrome it's free so you can just use it for your development and after that I'll just close these things will come here and try to see if that selector hub is added or not let's let me refresh this page again right click go to so you can see here we have this selector hub option is coming and this option will also come if I'll just do inspect element this okay so here yeah you can see we have selected this one is our web element input box and then you can go to down and this arrow you can click you will see here we have option selector hub just click on it now for this particular search box we can see we have relative X path is this one either you can use relative X path or you can use ID as well so I'll just go here and in our code I'll write driver dot find element by dot x path and will pass here x path for that x path so now we have reached to the x path search box and then we have to send some value to that so I'll say send key and here I'll say iPhone 15 Pro Max so by doing this what it will do it will type in that box right it will type in that box 
and then what we can do we can just click enter right so to click enter I'll just copy the same thing again paste it here and then I'll say submit so let's see what happens now run it again right so you can see I'm able to enter here iPhone 15 Pro Max and then I get the list so now from the list I need to choose which one to click so let's say I, I just say that if title is matching with iPhone 15 Pro Max 256 GB blue titanium then click on this particular part so for that what I have to do I'll just go here and type here iPhone Pro and then go to down and then let's say I just wanted to select this option so what I have to do I will just click on this menu icon you can see here I will just go and click on this so this is a span so I need to just look for the anchor tag so here is the anchor tag so if I need to click on this one right I have to click in this anchor tag or let me just check we have title mini title right? so if you move cursor you will see all these details so this is the title I need to click on let's say this link so one option is you can see here we have we are getting the X path as well so I'll just say here instead of getting X path I'll search for this one so copy and then what I'll try is I will say driver dot find element by dot and then instead of using ID or XPath I'll use link text so in this link text I will just pass this one and then I'll say dot click since this is anchor tag so we have to click on it after finding the list what we need to do we need to click on where it is matching this particular text now we can click run again since you can just see if it's already running just close it and then run again so now browser opened and then amazon.in then we have we can see it's maximized and just after that it clicked on that one also now we have this particular this um, selected item is already coming here and I can see it's not opened in another tab so which is okay if it's opening in same tag then you don't need to do anything now we have to look for the add cart button right so we have to just click on add cart and to do that I'll open another one and here what we have to do first I'll click on it and then we have to look for the add cart so I can directly go here and copy the relative path as well so I'll just copy it and go here write driver dot find element by dot X path and here I will pass X path so now I can see this X path is too large dot click so basically this X path is too large so we have to search for other option right for example uh, I'll, I'll go here and see so right click and then go to inspect element and from here I will try to look for that I'll click on selector hub and then for this button right I'll move my cursor mouse to this one and here it is saying that index path right we have one relative CSS another one is index path and I can see ID is also there so I have ID which is saying add to cart button so I will just copy this ID which it looks simple so instead of going with X path I'll say ID and in ID I'll just pass this one add to cart button and then we can say click 
so let's see if it's happening or not it may fail because once we click on the link we need to wait for some time right so either we can use implicit wait or explicit wait but right now I am just trying to run it all right so something is failed now you can see so you can see here it's saying element not traceable exception that means this particular element is not available right now so now since we are getting error element not found so let's see again so if you see here I, once I am selecting the add to cart button I can see here that this ID is calling two times that's why it's not picking the picking this button which I'm I wanted to click so what I can do either I can use get elements by get elements or find elements and then we can select the second button or what we can do we can use any uh, index path so let's say because since this is only unique in this page so I'll just copy this and we'll go here and instead of writing ID I'll just say X path and in this X path let's try to paste it save and then we can try to run whether it is able to click or not so let's click run button all right so sometimes you see this one right it's saying that uh, we are trying to automate this website so you can just manually enter here and for this handling also I'll show you in some other video but right now I need to just try two three times to reach to that particular page so let's run it again yeah so we can see here it's searching iPhone 15 Pro Max and then it's able to click the link let's see if it is able to add yes so you can see now it's able to add it to cart as well the next step is to we have to click on proceed checkout and now click on proceed checkout is easy part you can just so I'll after adding it we have this click to checkout right so we can just select here go on this one and after that we can just see which one is calling one time so in for this particular button we have to see so this button here I can see that uh, this input is calling 227 times so we have option is we can use index path and then using this also we can proceed further so I'll just go here and then click on it so just before that let me see if but let, let's click and then we can see here so I'll say driver dot find element dot by dot X path and here I'll paste the X path then I'll say dot click so now it should click that button and we can proceed further for giving the user ID password and then we can do that thing so I hope you are able to get how we are automating how we can automate Amazon.in website what you have to do is you just need to install selector hub and then you can try this thing thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next